In this video, we'll go over how I pack my gear. So today we're going to look at how I pack my gear on my backpacking trips. Um, now each pack is different, but this is how I categorize mine. We'll start with uh, breaking down the different sections of the pack. Um, I use an Osprey Atmos 65 liter. Uh, there are four different locations I classify with my pack. Uh, we have the upper, the middle, the lower, and the outer compartments. Now the rule of thumb when packing your bag is you want to pack items by weight. You want your lightest items to be on the bottom of your pack and the heaviest items to be at the top uh, between your shoulder plates. You see, the more something weighs, the more it's going to offset your center of gravity. Uh, so you want to have your heavier items as high and close to your back as possible. On a side note, I don't like stuff dangling off my pack. It doesn't help with weight displacement and it can cause you to lose balance when things are swinging or bouncing off your pack. Starting with the lower section. Now, my pack has a bottom pocket. Not all packs will have this bottom pocket. In fact, a lot of packs will just have the single opening at the top. Now generally, you want to pack the items you won't use until you get to camp near the bottom. This would include your sleep elements. My sleeping bag, pillow, liner, and sleep pad will all go towards the bottom. Again, you want the lightest stuff on the bottom and the heavier items towards the top. So in this case, my sleeping bag is on the bottom and my sleep pad is on top. My other sleep items such as my pillow, bag liner, will be stuffed with my sleeping bag inside the compression sack. Moving on to the middle section of the pack. Now this is where you're gonna place your bulky and heavier items in your bag. Now before I start packing the middle section, I like to fill up and put in my water reservoir. It's three liters. Um, I'll fill that up and put that in the storage pouch before I put any other item in. Um, so it's kind of difficult to squeeze a water bladder in there when there's already items in your pack. The middle section will also carry my tent and tent poles. I also have my camp clothes packed in this area. Again, with the heavier items on the top, I will put my food bag or bear can on top of these items. Now, food is the heaviest and bulkiest items, so that's going to go high and tight to my shoulders. Around the bulky food items, I will put any other miscellaneous things like stove, fuel, drinking cup, any, any other camp gear. Now we have the upper section. Sometimes people have a lid or a portion of their pack that's in the upper area. I like to store items for quick access and items of importance, like a puffy jacket, medical supplies, electronics, bug net, snacks, navigations, or any toiletry items. When nature calls, sometimes you don't have time to be digging in your pack to try and find your TP or trowel. But having those items for quick access is necessary. I also keep bug repellent and sun protection in my top lid. And finally, we have the outer compartments. Now, not every bag has these, but mine does. I use this space for storing my rain gear, a water filtration system, and the front outer compartments I use to store my camp shoes, which are basically sandals. If I'm bringing a luxury item like a camp chair, I will strap that to the lower section of my pack. Now, I know I said I don't like having things strapped to the outside of my pack, and this is true. However, the camp chair won't fit inside my pack, um, but the chair is quite solid and doesn't shift and bounce around when strapped down on my bag. Well, there you have it. We took a look at how I pack my bag and where my items go. As a reminder, you want to have your heavier and bulkier items near the top, near your shoulder blades, and your lighter and less needed items towards the bottom. Now, I hope some of you got something out of this, maybe give you a few ideas if you're looking at getting into backpacking. Um, so, until next time, thanks for watching and enjoy the trails. Thank you.